What is up, guys? Buff is back here today, bringing you another Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. So, in the previous episode, we went through this route over here. I think, let's check what it is. Yeah, Route 102. And we caught up the first addition to our team. Oops. And it is Frenchy. So, you know, Lotad is actually kind of nice. It has a rain dish, so. Anytime we're in rain, we recover health. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so... Now, there's a gym here. This is Dad's gym. Norman, a man in pursuit of power. Let's go inside. Ooh, and it is our father in the flesh. Well, if it isn't Bubba, you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Well, thanks, Dad. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Bubba. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Who's this guy? Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hey, get in line, bud. Hmm? You're, uh... Oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Verdif Town. Verdenturf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself. So I wanted to take a Pokemon along. Yo. The line's back there, bro. I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how to. Hmm, I see. Bubba, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches Pokemon. So you're going to help this guy get a freaking Pokemon, but you won't give your own son a Pokemon? Logic. He got a Zigzagoon? I wish my dad loved me like this. He's not even his dad, though. Okay, whatever. Whatever. You know, some girl give me my balls. Hey, <laughs> that sounded kind of funny. Okay, so you can just take your hands off the thing right now and just let it do its thing. Wally, Bubba. Pokemon hide in tall grass like this. So, in Generation 1, whenever you got up to after Route 1, they would show you like this pokey... TV, I think it was called, and it would show you how to catch it, some old man. This is like the equivalent to it. And no matter what, he will always find a Ralts level 5. No matter what. No matter what game you have, it doesn't matter. So, you know, lucky him, I guess. Ralts is really rare. It's like, I think, a 4% chance on this route. So, if you just, if you want to try your best, I guess you can go for it, but honestly, it doesn't really have a place on my team. I already have a good idea of what I want. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you're gonna Oh, sorry, that was a mother. Well, I did it. It's my Pokemon. Bubba, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. Ooh, teleportation, I see. So, did it work? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Bubba, thank you for coming along. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Bubba. So that's Wally. We're going to see him a lot throughout the series. Um, not as much as you'd expect, but he does play, his family plays a vital role in advancing in this game. So, you know, it's highly, recommend, highly recommended. Can't talk. That, you know, yeah, pay attention to where he's at. So, Dad's just telling us right now to get a bunch of gyms, gym badges. Okay. This is Petalburg City. So, this is Wally's house. What does this guy have to say? Hiya. Are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what a Pokemon trainer do when they reach a new town? Let me first check what kind of gym is in the town. So that's just meant to help you go into that gym. We're gonna go over here. Oh, what's this? Excuse me. Let me guess. From the way you're dressed, you're a Pokemon trainer. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. Jeez, what? A Is he judging me based on what I'm wearing? God, just because I'm wearing sweatpants all the time doesn't mean anything. Sorry, I'm taking your time. Jeez. That was kind of a douchebag move. Whatever. 
So this is Route 104. What does this guy have to say? If you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first. It will be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burned, or ruled into sleep. Jeez. Burn your Pokemon. Okay, who's this chick? Okay, this is where Brittany lives. She's went to Mighty Taylor. You never fear the sea, however strong. So that's actually, this is a really good big part. Mr. Brittany. Um, he plays a vital role too. Ooh, more berries. Warren Berry. I love restoring health. Here it is, let's do it. Okay, let's go over here. Pick up this guy. Oh, I think this chick is really rich, if I remember correctly. I think she only has one Pokemon, and it gives you a ton of money. Just look at the way she's dressed. How do you not have money? Her name is Lady Cindy. Dude, she's... All right, well, we already know he's not going to work. Frenchie. Dude, once I learn double kick, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Wow. Man, why you gotta crit me like that, dude? You gonna make this so hard for me? Growl. <laughs> well, I guess I technically have Absorb now on Frenchie. I could have just used him. Oh, whatever. Jeez, this guy is wrecking me. I don't want to use an item this early. We're not even into the freaking forest yet. Jeez. Hopefully, I kill him here. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Use that here. Unless she has a freaking potion before even level 8. Wow. Wow. A full restore? You're level 7. How, the, how do you have a full restore? Oh. Jeez. Oh man, I think I'm really screwed here. And she, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Okay, this is not looking good for us. It's a level seven Zigzagoon, using a full restore. Ooh, tail whip, all right. Absorb, show me your power. Now it misses. Absorb. I hardly did anything. Okay. So, after this, I think I'm gonna go restore my health because. You see, I got pretty jacked up. I still can't get over. They had a freaking full restore. Like, who uses a full restore at level 7? I think maybe she was gonna use like a potion. But no. Nah. She was determined. Whatever. -da -da. I'll probably speed up this battle, by the way. It's taking forever. Thank you. Okay. That was the longest battle ever. God. Okay. Let me say leveled up. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I have to go fill up $1,450. Okay, be right back. Okay, we are back. Now it is time after we got our Pokemon healed. Who uses the freaking... Fr I'm still upset about that. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so now we're in the Petalburg Woods. Is there anything over here? I think there... Should I talk to this guy? Hey, hey, still. Sometimes there are things on the guide. Around even if you can't see them. That's why I always check on the walking. I think he's talking about this. Oh, a free potion. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm sorry about that. Shebang did get to level 10, though. He learned Ember. 
Sorry, that was a little off camera, but okay, what does she have to say? You're a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. You should throw Pokeballs only at your wild Pokemon. And there's a Pokeball. Cool. Okay, let's go up here again. You could just go back the way you just saw me go down, but it's whatever. Okay. This. Oh! I bug Pokemon team. Okay, so this guy is not required. You can easily dodge, but when you're sprinting like that, apparently the sound of your shoes attracts the battler. But let's see what this guy has to say. Go, Frenchie. Why am I lagging? That was weird. Okay, shebang. Now that I have Ember though, this is gonna just one-shot them. Please don't string shot me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I'm still faster? Yeah. You're dead. Oh, this is gonna be so much easier. I think uh, I think I'm just gonna keep him out. They're, these guys are low level. Oh, Wumple. Get him, shebang. Ember. It's super effective. Yeah. Sorry, it's such a boring fight, guys. Wumple. Ember. Yawn. Yeah. Right, I'll probably speed up this fight too. There's nothing really special about it. My bad. Ember. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Paralyze heal. Okay, sorry about that. I had to cut that out. Oh, that was so annoying. It was a shroomish. Oh, who is this guy? I like that pixelated haircut. Hello. Have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? Yeah, I literally just battled him. Oh. I was going to ambush you, but you had to dawdle and probably forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. He, he runs behind me so fast. You know, if you think about it, we're actually using Pokemon as slaves. Like we're using like I don't know how to like I we're we're battling with Pokemon over whether he should ambush this guy or not. And I'm like ten years old. Whoa. This guy's level nine. Is Ghost good against this? No. Oh. Mistake. Oh he flinched though. Yeah. Use uh, absorb. Same type of attack bonus, so it's like 1.5, I think. Oh, this is gonna be a long fight. How? Uh oh. He's stocking up. He's gonna spam absorb him. Get wrecked. <laughs> Did no damage. Uh oh. Why is he raising his attack so high? I absorb again. I love that animation. It looks like bubbles bursting in the air. It's beep, beep, beep. Okay. That's just not cool. You know, I was playing outside the other day, playing sand, and this guy freaking... I dove for the ball, and so did he. But he went with his feet, and his feet is dug up so much sand, and the only place it went was in my face. It was in my mouth, it was in my hair, it was in my eyes. It was, he literally used sand attack against me. It was awful. But, whatever. Anyways, he's finally down after, what, like, six absorbs? I'm gonna get a lot of XP for that, though. Already halfway to level 10. You're kidding me. You are tough. Is it because I'm a kid? Yeah, uh, get it? Because he said, kidding me. Oh, okay. I really need to stop with the bad puns. We're Team Aqua. 
we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Alright, dude. Phew, that was awful. We close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know. I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. First great ball you get in the game, by the way. Um, higher catch rate than Pokeballs. But, I don't know. I like using Pokeballs. The original. Didn't that Team Aqua Thug say they were after something in Rustboro 2? Uh oh. It's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Alright, bye, dude. Jeez, he's fast. Okay, I think this is a trainer. Let's see. Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? Pokemon are weak and you went to avoid battles. You should stay out. Tall grass. Tell me something I don't know. This is also not a required trainer. But whatever. I'm an agent. <laughs> I don't feel like battling this for this long, so I'm just gonna ember them both to death. Uh, use Harden, I dare you. Ember in the face. See, imagine that, but through the entire series. Like, there would be no fun moments. There would be like, no, oh my gosh. I just one-shot everything. Talking about one-shot everything, I'm just not going to switch Pokemon. So he has the sa same Pokemon, I think. Same level, too. Um, if you have a Torchic, obviously, just one-shot them with Ember. And he's dead. Well, we got $96 for winning. Nice. Okay. Ooh, Pokeball. Ether. I've never understood if you call it Ether or Ether, but all that does is restores the PP you have selected move by 10. So let's say your Ember has, I don't know, four charges out of the 15 it can hold. Is it 15? Or is it 30? Hold on. Good. Okay, that was my guy. Uh, Frenchie grew to level 10 in that fight. Yay. So here's some berries over here. But uh, anyways, what I was saying about the ether ethers, whatever you want to call them, probably call them ethers, is they restore 10 power points, I think that's what they're called, or power something. Anyways, um, all that means is if you have... An ability that you can no longer use, like let's say Scratch is at a 12 out of 35, it now becomes a 22 out of 35. So it just, it's really nice when you're battling the Elite Four and you can't really restore your po- You douchebag. Accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Alright, two things. One, I never challenged you. And two, give me your money. Oh, he looks like a snobby rich boy, Winston. That's kind of like the guy from Overwatch, except I like I like Winston from Overwatch. He's not snobby. Anyways, I'll just absorb this guy. Anyways, finally gonna finish the Ether idea. Is they're really good in the Elite Four scenarios because you can't restore your Pokemon after every fight. You have to use potions, and berries, and all that fun stuff. So if you use an ability like overheat which only has five and you use it all and you need it you just use that and it's a bit overkill but hey five is a lot okay um i'm probably gonna speed this battle up just because it takes so long but you know be right back What? What is with these people having freaking four stars? Ugh. I'm gonna run out of absorbs. Okay, I only have seven more. Stop growling me. Okay, these rich guys are really, really starting to annoy me. Anyways, back to the speed up.
Ah, <sighs> finally. That four restore is so strong and so dumb. Like, why are you using a four restore at level seven? I get it when you're like level 7D, but seven? God. Whatever. Ooh, got a lot of XP for that though. Rich boy Winston. Why couldn't I win? Is your four restore douche nozzle? You don't even you don't even have blonde hair. What what? You don't even have blonde hair. <sighs> Whatever, you don't even have blonde hair. Over you, I think. That's a trainer, but we'll come back to her. Oh We are tins, so we battle together. So this is a required fight if you have two Pokemon, I guess. This is also the first time you're gonna get into a double battle. Gina and Mia. Ooh, that's weird. We have a family friend named Gina, and she has a daughter named Mia. That's that's a little weird, but whatever. C dot and Lotad. So the way this works is you choose which which each character will do. So I'm going to absorb the Lotad. And then this guy is going to Ember the C dot. So then you go. Should be super effective. Yeah. So, you know, it's a it's the same exact thing as a normal battle, except the only difference is there's another Pokemon. But, you know, really easy. Had its energy drained. Okay, so I'm gonna absorb this guy again. You know, grass is super effective in water, so it's gonna cancel out. Should do a lot though. Yeah, <laughs> that sure did a lot. Okay, so shared XP. Ooh, French is level 11 now. And Shebang is still level 11. So both my Pokemon are level 11. Now that we're out of the Pittleburgh woods, so that's pretty good. Okay, what's over here? I think this guy just has a magic carp, but I'll collect those later. I'll be right back. I'm going to go. No, you're going to come with me. So this is Rustaboro City. I can go to the PC Center. I'm going to restore some of my Pokemon. Then we're going to go back down to that thing real quick. Yes, please. Okay, I'll meet you guys back down at the waterway bridge thing. Yeah. Okay, what's up guys? We're back to Route 104, and we're gonna talk to this guy. I think he's a trainer. I'm the water Pokemon expert, huh? You don't know me? We're about to find out. I swear to gosh, if he just has all magic carps. Oh, there's one. Uh, I might cut that out, might not. It depends on how I'm feeling after this. So, what's up here? Oh, Pokeball. It's an X Defend. We use that in game or in battles. You don't. It's not like a protein where you can use it outside and over up a level up and generic stat. But if you know, you use that in game. But anyways, not really much. Oh my gosh, what did I say in episode one? But anyways, guys, I'm gonna restore my Pokemon. Um, and go from there. I think in the next episode, we're gonna take on Rustboro Gym and go explore and figure out what that Devon Goods dude wanted. So, you know, after this, I'll see you guys later. But uh, before I leave, just wanna say, hope you guys are enjoying this. This is definitely really fun to make. It's really fun to play Emerald again. But uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Hey!